Hi, so um, this is my first Let's Play. Um, this is Kerbal Space Program version 0 0.16. Um, I figured this would be, this would be the uh, best time to start one of these Let's Plays because it won't become too outdated too quickly. Um, so, um, my plan is to kind of do a series of videos um, covering a semi-realistic progression of missions, kind of starting from the very basic, like we'll be doing today and um, advancing and becoming more and more complicated um, fairly quickly. Um, so for the first mission the plan is to do the kind of first space program kind of goal and that's to get a man into space. So it's not going to be going into an orbit, it's just going to be suborbital tra trajectory just uh, going out in space for a few seconds and then back in again and hopefully landing safely. So I made this simple small rocket. Um, the only new part from version 0.16 is the uh, new smaller um, command module, which is the same size as uh, or similar size to the old one that carried three. So I'm going to go ahead and launch. Okay, so it looks like the first person to go into space potentially will be Tom Bart Kerman um, so turn on our SAS, trial up to full and launch see the engine heat up a little bit there so um, my kind of typical way of like since we're just going into space here, we don't actually need to uh, turn too much because um, to, we're not trying to get in orbit. But we can, I will tilt out, kind of similar to how I usually do, just to kind of maximize the amount of time we have in space. I don't think there's enough fuel here to get in orbit anyway, but um, it should be good. Around 15,000 meters, so I'll start tilting over a little bit just to make sure we land in the sea. Here we go. Slip, tilting over slowly. good enough. So the official kind of space line is 70,000 meters so that is our goal um, to go beyond that and it looks like we'll already go beyond that so I can go ahead and stop this. So that's our highest point there that we will reach 130,000 meters. So um, that's well it's getting smaller but we'll be in space for short amount of time. Since I have half a tank of fuel I might as well try and extend out the amount of time we have in space to make it a very very successful and impressive amount of space time for Tom Bart Kerman. So that's 81,000 meters we are in space. Plenty of time to go, so I might as well start burning it up a bit. Well, I don't want to go too far because I don't want to land on the land. We'll land before that anyway because the air will slow us down and bring us to a much more straight kind of a path. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up time. We're going to be re-entering soon. Here we go. Well, now we're actually out of space, technically. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and release. Um, I don't want to do an EVA just yet. Because on the first moon mission, or first um, kind of space mission, I don't think it would be... Um, something that would have been a priority. Starting to hear the uh, 
air rushing past now as it gets a lot thicker when we get lower into the atmosphere. Okay, so I don't deploy my parachute until I'm about between 500 meters and 1000 meters just because it takes ages for it to come down um, anyway. So, and it doesn't deploy itself properly until about now. So, there we go. Our rocket has splashed down and been destroyed. And we are very, very safely descending. There we are. Looks like Tom Bart Kerman has safely returned from his orb orbital uh, flight. I don't know what that line is that follows me around. Um, I'll just ignore it. And there we go. So Tom Bart Kerman is officially the first man into space and safely returned. So um, that was a pretty short video there. Um, a very short flight as well. So what I might do is I might go ahead and on this video I might also do the next mission because it's a bit much to um it's a bit too short just to have that one little video there of just going into space so i think for the next mission i will make a rocket that will take three of the um kerbals into an orbit around um kerbin i think kerbin's planet um and then maybe do some eva um, out in space, just mess around for a bit, then go back inside and come back in for a landing. Um, I could try and do a landing um, near the KSP. Depends. Um, since it's pretty early on, I might just have them splash down in the water safely. So I'm not used to the bigger parts yet either. So um, I'll see how that goes.